Angela Broyles, and I'm here with um, Mr. Gruber at um, Florence, Alabama. And um, Mr. Gruber is going to talk with me today about his um, military service during World War II. And you were raised here in this area, and um, just over the hill here. Okay, so you were raised in St. Florine area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and I went to school there. Okay. Uh, what was your father's name? Conrad Gruber. Conrad Nicholas Gruber. Okay. And how many children were in the family? Well, it was half brothers and half sisters. There were 16 of us. Ooh, that's a large bunch. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, do you remember any of the things that happened when you were o deployed, when you were over there? Uh, a few things, yeah. So, we, uh, did, didn't know where we was going or nothing. We was put on a boat, and we landed at the La Havre, France. That was where most of the troops were landing, and they were setting up a, a big camp area there, Camp Lucky Strike. This camp. As we moved, we would uh, go into these towns and uh, we'd run to we'd find a nice little houses there that we could stop in for a day or two, a week or two or what, till we were called again. And, and we'd always t t take houses that was so many of them that would uh, uh, equip our patrol and that we just, just go in like it was ours and run the people out. And all, it was always the first time we'd get go into a place that way. There was always a run for the boys to get to the cellar. <laughs> There was all kinds of wine, liquors, and stuff like that in the cellars. And we, we'd carry that out, put it in their jeeps, and carry it with us on the next day. I don't remember right off, was there two or three of those big concentration camps? I don't know why I can't find those pictures. Where the, the Germans had these poles and different people in that concentration camp. They were just a, a, a building. It wasn't even like you would put shelter for cattle, and that's where they slept and stacked them, these people that they worked. Arrived there, about how many people were still alive in the camp? Well, it's not, not really too many. I guess the ones that was uh, <clears throat> were still alive, that they uh, were, were taken out and somebody else, uh, a different branch of Met medics or somebody else was a different branch uh, that took care of that. How long did it take y'all to, to bury the bodies that were left behind? I, I, I can't remember, but uh, we went down into the town and rounded up the people and made them come up and dig the graves. Mm. Went through all that chemical warfare training because we was in a 4.2 stationary motor outfit. Mm -hmm. 